I got asked if I was having an identity crisis on Wednesday. Hey guys, it's Mariah. So, this week's video. I know, this week like it's a weekly thing, but anyways. I have this huge thing planned and I'm so excited because I'm going to start it tomorrow. Today is Sunday, uh, September, mm, you know, 16th, um, so it starts tomorrow, Monday, and, okay, breathe, sorry, I'm just so excited. Every day this week that I go to school, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and hopefully I'll take Friday as a reflection and edit and upload. Okay, so every day this week, I'm picking a different high school stereotype click or high school click stereotype. So we're gonna do Monday, the glamorous popular girl. We're gonna do Tuesday, the emo goth outcast. And Wednesday, we're gonna do the sporty jock cheerleader girl, which, don't worry, will be different than the popular girl. I'm sorry about that, my phone just died, and so I just changed the battery. Anyways, Thursday, the final day, I'm going to be that punk rock skater type, or another form of outcast, I suppose, but I don't know. I don't, we didn't really have clicks at our school. I went to a really, really small school and everybody was kind of friends with everybody unless you were like a new kid and then you had your little section. But anyways, I never experienced really high school cliques except for I was in band and I was kind of a dork. But like I was friendly with everybody so whatever. So yes, this is a, a total experiment and I don't mean to offend anybody by placing you in clicks or whatever and saying that one type of person has to represent themselves in a certain way. This is just how I'm interpreting the stereotypical member of these specific clicks. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm dropping my phone, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so this is day one's look. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a good. I feel pretty badass, actually. Huh. Maybe this should be my everyday style. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try and vlog a little at school, and if it gets awkward, then I probably won't vlog very long. But if I don't vlog very long, I will, um, let you know how that this is when I get home. Okay? Okay, guys. I'm whispering so that you can hear me. Because I am at school. But I'm getting most of the results that I was expecting. Um, a lot of stares. Probably because either my um, cheek wig or the fact that my tits are hanging out for the most part. Um. fair. I'm sweating to death this wig, this jacket, but I can't take the jacket off because my shirt doesn't fit right and I just don't feel comfortable with that. But look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've only been here for like maybe 45 minutes, so I will um, keep you updated. I haven't even been to class yet. I've just been walking around. I was wearing a headband. I saw earlier, but it was pissing me off, so I just pulled it back like I do for music. Um, so that's all I have for now, but I'll keep this to the over there. So, the majority of the morning, I really, really hope you can hear me. I tried to sit where I normally wouldn't try because I usually try to avoid people, but obviously, for this experiment need people to see me. So I sat around in places where people typically are and yes I paused people walked in and I didn't want them to see me talking to myself. 
Um, so yeah, Saturn and I know people typically tend to conglomerate. Is that down there? You can see. And, um, yeah, got looks. Some double tape. Don't know if it's like damn. I've seen her before, but not like that. Probably not. I mean, there's so many people here, they probably have no fucking idea who I am. And probably some of my ratchet wig, my boobs hanging out, which I already mentioned. But it's been a pretty interesting morning. I've only been here for an hour. So that's been my results so far. Now I'm back up in my my spot where I always sit while well, mom in class and I'm looking for my class to start. I'll check back in after. So um it's Tuesday and it is literally downpouring. So today did not seem like the best day to go uh, emo goth outcast. So today we're doing sporty. I'm a river vixen today, I guess. Um, minimal makeup. I haven't done it yet, but I'm probably just going to do my eyebrows and throw on some mascara. And that's it because, I mean, you can't really wear makeup while you're doing sport ball stuff. Um, but I feel like today we'll get the smallest reaction because I literally just look like a slob, I suppose. Not really a slob, but like a go-getter, active go-getter. I know that's the opposite of a slob. Um, I'm in sweatpants and a regular shirt, kind of. I'm going to be wearing sneakers. Stop my mom's because they hurt my feet. And that's about it. So I, ooh, sorry, I almost dropped my phone. I will keep you updated. Yes, oh, my dog's working. I changed my shirt before I went to school, but today's results were about what I expected them to be. Um, I got told I look very comfy, and Caitlin asked me if I just rolled out of bed, pretty much. So, sporty wear, aka sweatpants and t-shirt. My hair up, yeah. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and this is my look today. I kind of just threw it together in like 10 minutes because I woke up late this morning. But here's purple and black, that's today's aesthetic and I've actually gotten an absurd amount of dirty looks today. I don't know why. I think I look pretty fabulous. Um, yeah school like this before for my sociology project. Maybe not to this extent, but definitely weird looking. Um, I'm going to fix my lipstick in a little bit when I'm done my coffee. But I'll let the rest of the day go. So I was going to do some fake piercings and shit go with my real piercings and shit, but like I said, I woke up late, so I threw this together in about 10 minutes and literally just assaulted my face with black and purple makeup. My contour is even a really bad, bad, bad color, so. Okay, hi, so. Don't mind my face. Um, <laughs> so, to conclude this experiment, yes, I know, day four never happened. Thursday, I got really sick, but I don't think I would have gotten any, oh, my battery's gonna die, cool. I'm recording on my phone, sorry. Um, I don't think I would have gotten any new information from doing day four, which was the skater, outcast kind of person, um, yeah, but <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday I ended up going to an ice cream party with my mom, and that was fun, because that's usually not kind of something I'd partake in, 
is just a random event at school. But I also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I got asked if I was having an identity crisis on Wednesday because it was the third day that I was in a different style and just happened to be in the same class all three of those days. So it was really, yeah, these don't have lenses in them, my bad. But anyways, it was really funny and <laughs> I got a kick out of that. But I think the idea of this experiment changed from beginning to now. I feel like instead of just dressing up as different stereotypes or click stereotypes, I suppose, it's changed to how does how you dress and how you act no how you dress and present yourself affect how you yourself act and how people treat you because i felt like on day one when i was dressed up like just popular stereotype miss popular i presented myself as more confident but also kind of trashy because I did like my shirt was very revealing and then Wednesday I mean sorry Tuesday typically you'd think dressing up sporty and stuff would make you more energetic but I personally just felt more tired exhausted almost um yeah I think because I was in comfortable clothes and comfortable shoes and just had my hair up and didn't have any makeup on. I just was comfortable. I was tired. I didn't really, yeah. Caitlin, my cousin, even told me I looked like I just rolled out of bed. So, there was that. <laughs> she was like, you seriously go out in public with her like that? And I was like, dude, I'm fully clothed. And then Wednesday, which was emo goth outcast day, I had so much makeup on. I had my wig on, I had really long, my long purple wig on. And I was wearing like six layers because I mean, I thought it looked cool and edgy and shit. And I was in all black makeup and all black clothes and I had my beanie on and it was really hot. Really, really hot. But since I had all that clothing on and that persona in mind, I feel like I just hated the world all day. Like, I just acted like I hated the world all day. And it was weird. Um, sorry if, like, my voice isn't syncing with this. I, like I said, I'm recording this on my phone. Um, but yeah, it was odd. <sighs> and maybe I was having an identity crisis. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really liked this video. I really did put a lot of time in into it. I'm still not feeling that great, but I figured I have the time. I should probably finish it up and make a conclusion so I can edit and upload. And you know the drill. If you like this, leave a like down below and subscribe for more randomness. Thank you guys. Bye.